I started at the Bank of Blue Valley in 1989 in a trailer at the corner of 119th and Medcalf. 25 years later, we're going strong with $600 million in assets serving five locations in metropolitan Kansas City. The bank was founded on the principles of community, philanthropy, and entrepreneurship. We believe small businesses and entrepreneurship are the engines that drive the American economy and our bank. The future success of our country is dependent on the success of small business and entrepreneurs. Studies have shown that small businesses in the last 15 years have created 120% of all new jobs in the U.S. economy, creating new jobs and providing opportunities for people displaced by larger companies who have reduced staff. The success of our country is dependent upon innovation and creativity. The vast majority of innovation and new ideas are coming from firms who have been in existence for less than 10 years. We count many of these firms among our clients. My family and I have supported this mission in many ways and we're pleased to be collaborating with Kansas City, Kansas Community College to celebrate entrepreneurs with this video series. Welcome to the Entrepreneur video series. Today I welcome Ms. Celeste Mikianis from the Wine Barn Winery and Vineyard. Well, I just have a few questions for you and my first question, uh, I'd like for you to tell me a little bit about you, a little bit about your business and how you became an entrepreneur. Okay, great. Uh, my name is Celeste. I am um, a longtime resident of Wyandotte County and actually born and raised here. Um, I have four children. We all live right here, um, very close to our winery. Our winery is the Wine Barn Winery and Vineyard. We've been in business for just over five years. We actually grow our own grapes on site. Um, we have 15 acres of property, so we grow our own grapes on site, make wine out of those grapes, um, have about 20 different wines that we produce from that. In addition to the grape growing farming aspect of it, we also do live music events and fundraisers and weddings and other private events um, that incorporate the wine tasting to that. Okay, and how did you become an entrepreneur? Um, well, I think it was just the perfect storm of, <laughs> of uh, all of the um, elements coming together. My parents started it as a, a hobby. They started making wine. Um, at some point during their hobby, decided that they would like to make it into a business. About six months later, um, they decided they didn't enjoy it. It wasn't what they had signed up for. It wasn't a hobby anymore, it was work. And they told me that they were going to close. Um, they are just gonna sell what they had and close. And I thought that that was um, really sad and I, I didn't wanna see that. Um, my husband and I thought how, you know, the wine industry is growing, how neat would it be to have this and to be a part of that and to sort of live out my parents' dream, um, and then hopefully someday for our children as well. Okay. So we decided to just take the risk and, and join in and, and take over the business. So would you say that your parents inspired you to, to pick this mantle up and keep <laughs> it going? I think uh, more my kids than my the parents. I, I would love for them to, to see their grandparents' dream come to life and to be a part of that. Can you name some of the successes and the mistakes that you made during your first year of business? Okay, um, lots of mistakes <laughs> in the first year. Um, learning along the way. Um, I think my biggest mistake my first year was thinking that I knew how to do everything best. Okay. And that I was the only person that could do it because otherwise it wouldn't be done right. I, I didn't trust that um, I could find professional help elsewhere. Um, people that actually knew the, um, the ropes of everything. Um, I didn't have a, a background in entrepreneurship or business for that matter. Um, okay. So th that was really tough for the first year. Um, but in that first year, I worked my tail off. We all did and um, took the business from you know, thousands, tens of thousands of dollars in negative mm -hmm. to at, at least the first year break even point and then you know, now moving forward. Um, it's it's fun to look back at those days. Okay. No. Uh, some of the successes that you've had. Uh, successes. Well, the first year. yeah, would be turning the business around there for that um, okay. that uh, first year. It's going from negative to to the break even, um, and then the connections that I've I've made along the way, and um, 
sort of getting our community behind us. Okay. I think in that first year, um, reaching out to people, becoming friends and customers, and, and sort of developing that base for a, a strong business foundation. Okay, now let me go back. You did say that some of the failures were not trusting sure. <laughs> certain individuals. Can you name some of those? Um, some of those areas that you felt you needed the expertise in? Well, sure. Um, for starters, um, accounting. Okay. I thought, well, I have QuickBooks. I don't need anything else. I can do <laughs> it all. Um, but I didn't have an accounting background. So there were a lot of things that I missed that I had to go back um, in later years, you know, second year, third year, and fix those mistakes that I thought okay. that I knew. Um, marketing is another one. So um, just, just some of those. Just, right. OK. Um, if you could give one piece of advice to someone uh, uh, trying to to start their own business and become an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. what would that one piece of advice be? If I had to pick only one, well, well, let me I would ask you for several. <laughs> then you don't um, have to pick just one. Network, okay. network, grow your connections, um, meet people, find out what they do, and and don't do it because there's something in it for you. Do it because. You never know where things are going to end up, and you never know how maybe you could help someone else out, which makes you feel really, really great. Okay. Um, I started, um, you know, in the winery, just selling myself, selling the winery. Come see our our place, and through the years, I I met connections through the chamber, and then through the community college and their scene program, and you know, then people move on from from one position to another and you know your network just branches out so making those connections because no no one can do it alone right. no matter how, how smart you are how great you are um, how ambitious you are you can't do it alone what things tend to be your biggest distraction hmm. my kids no <laughs> just kidding um, fear fear um, fear Fear is my biz biggest distraction because I'm constantly second guessing um, what what my plan was, what my thought was, if I could do it better, which I think is a good thing um, in one sense, um, but in the other sense, it, it is um, a bit hindering at times. Um, and then regulations in the wine industry, we are extremely regulated. Okay. Um, in the farming industry, we're extremely regulated, um, and in um, you know every area of like everyone else, the city codes mm -hmm. and um, things like that, just following all those regulations and making sure that um, not only are you having, you have a great product and you're doing things that are um, potentially s making your business successful, but you also have to follow up on the back end of things as okay. well. If you had an opportunity to do this all over again, start <laughs> from scratch, <laughs> what, would that, uh, what would you do differently? Um, if I had to do it all over again, I would not be afraid to admit my weaknesses. I would not be afraid to know my limitations and know that I am not an accountant and I need an accountant. I am not a um, financial advisor. I am, you know, th that I would hire those individual people instead of worrying about um, what it would cost me, okay. you know, in the end, my time is worth something, and my time could be better spent on my strengths. Then. Right. So I think uh, trusting in other professionals to do their job. Okay. Well, <laughs> thank you so much for being with us today. My pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Hello. My name is Dr. Doris Givens, president of Kansas City, Kansas Community College. Kansas City, Kansas Community College is a public, urban, open door, and comprehensive community college committed to excellence in higher education. Through an accessible and supportive learning environment, our mission is to provide higher education and lifelong learning to varied communities, primarily in Wyandotte and Leavenworth counties. We are the most progressive, forward-thinking, forward-moving, entrepreneurial community college in the entire state of Kansas. And with our Dr. Thomas R. Burke Technical Education Center, 
Business Innovation Center and focus on entrepreneurship, Kansas City, Kansas Community College is preparing our students to become an active part of the workforce in Kansas City and providing training and continuing education opportunities to the local employers. We are excited about the opportunity to partner with the Bank of Blue Valley on the Entrepreneurial Profile Series and hope you enjoy this new video series and hearing from some of the most successful entrepreneurs in Kansas City. Thank you.